Hey everybody, a Retro Geek Dad here, back with a, another toy review. This time we're looking at the Masters of the Universe New Eternia Battle Armor He-Man. I uh, picked this up from Target. It was about $22, I believe, was the retail price. But, uh, yeah, we're going to check out the package, um, open the figure up, look at articulation, accessories, and stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned, and we're going to get into it. Okay, so we're back. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So, uh, once again, this is part of the New Eternia uh, Masterverse figures. Um, we do have our Battle Armor He-Man. So, this is kind of an older He-Man. He does have like a beard and, you know, everything. So, kind of rugged, um, you know, battle veteran, war veteran, you know, kind of thing. Experienced fighter, basically. Um, but he does come with his power sword, a battle axe. Um, he does have a shield, and I think it plugs into his uh, gauntlet right there. Uh, we do have the battle chest, or the battle damage chest piece, and a couple extra hands. Um, looking at the sides, so we have a pretty cool picture here. Raise the camera a little bit. So pretty cool picture there. Um, really good illustration. And then on the back, we do have another illustration here. Uh, we do have like a little bio right here of uh, our He-Man. Let me zoom in a little bit, so if you wanted to read it. Okay. So pretty cool. And we do have some of some villains. It looks like we've got one of the skeleton warriors here. Um, just some kind of monster. Not quite sure if that's a particular character. Uh, we also do have a couple more figures in the line. Uh, Sun Man, Hero, and Jitsu. And on the other side, just says Battle Armor He-Man. On the bottom, we do have our UPC code and all of our legal information. And then on the top, of course, is just where it says Masterverse. Uh, 30 points of articulation. Uh, we do have the 40th logo right here. Raise the camera some. It's kind of hard to see because it's like kind of chrome hologram. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, the 40th sticker, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we're going to open up our figure, um, you know, check out articulation and stuff. So, we'll go ahead and get into that. Just cut a few pieces of tape here on the bottom. Let's see. Okay, so here is our He-Man figure. And we do have a couple of the little um, plastic tabs holding the figure in. Let me cut those real quick. One on each foot. And it looks like one on each arm. A, another plastic strip on our power sword. Let's pull that out real quick. <coughs> have our battle damage chest piece. It does have little tabs on the back. And our extra hands. A open hand and then we have a fist closed fist have an 
our battle axe. Pretty cool. It's got some battle damage on it. And we have our little shield here with a little uh, piece tab plug to go into his gauntlet. So let's take a look at our figure real quick. Got articulation and everything on him. Or is the camera? So. Okay, so we're back and we're gonna look at articulation. So with the head, we do have a ball joint on the head. So pretty good movement there. Uh, we do have an arm piece here, like an armor piece. Um, so it does rotate with the bicep. Um, we can also take that off. It looks like there's a little tab here. So we'll take that off real quick to look at articulation. Um, the armor does not appear like it comes off like it's, I think it's, no, wait. Let's, pop. Let's take the head off real quick. I'll take the chest piece off. Okay, so it comes off so you can uh, change out the chest piece. So there we go there. And we'll take the back. Does the back come off? Okay, so the back piece does not come off, just the front piece. So you can change the chest gauntlet piece. Um, but we'll continue with articulation. So we do have a ball joint here on the top arm. Uh, we do have rotation. The elbows are double jointed. It looks just a little stiff. Okay, there we go. So we do have double jointed elbows. Um, it's just a little stiff because of how the gauntlet's made. There's not a lot of movement there. Um, we have rotation in the wrist. And we have a rocker. And of course we can change the hands out. Uh, same with the other arm. Torso, pretty good movement there. It's on a ball joint. Waist has rotation. Um, the legs, they're on a ball joint, so we've got pretty good movement there. There is a rotation here at the top of the thigh. Uh, knees are double jointed. There we go. The knees are double jointed. The top of the boot has rotation. And of course the ankle is on a rocker. So pretty good movement there. So pretty good articulation. Um, the only hindrance I see is maybe right here on this arm with the gauntlet. But it's not too bad. So we'll go ahead, let's put the battle damage stone. So it's just got these two plugs right here. And we'll just plug that in. And then we'll put the front chest piece on and it plugs in as well. So there it is with the battle damaged. Okay, so looks really cool. Um, I do like the battle damage feature. Uh, go ahead and pop the head back on. So there is battle damage with the head. The Shield, of course, plugs into this gauntlet piece here. So it's kind of like a bracer shield. Um, not sure what the technical term is, but like a buckler, I guess, would be the term. So that's pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and put that back on real quick, his little shoulder piece. Let's take that off for a second. Put that back on. Kind of slide it up. I think I put it on backwards. Yeah. Put it on upside down. There we go. There is a little bit of paint rub. Kind of hard to see, but right. Where the um, it connects out. So put that back on. Which I'm not too. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I might keep that off. 
but just for the purpose of the video, we'll leave it on. So we've got our buckler and our arm armor piece right there. Uh, we'll put the axe in this hand. Just like that. And the power sword. Take a look at that real quick. So that looks really cool. Um, it does have like the handle wrapped. Really cool. Put that in that hand. And there we go. So there is our battle armor He-Man. And he looks like he's ready for a fight. Um, didn't mention, we also have a um, little dagger here in his boot. Um, there's the dagger. And it's kind of molded into his boot, so I don't think you can take that off. But looks pretty cool. So there we go. There is our Battle Armor He-Man. I just gotta get him to stand. Lower the camera. So yeah, looks pretty cool. Um, I am going to do some still photos at the end of this video um, just to get some better pictures of articulation and things like that with the different, you know, hands and accessories. So yeah, um, pretty cool figure. I, I like the, you know, the new Eternia. Um, the new Eternia line is pretty neat because it's it's like a reimagined, um, you know, figures, reimagined figures. Um, I did want to get this one when I saw it, so I'm happy I am happy I found it. But uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, if you like my content, you know, just uh, thumbs up. You know, drop a comment, subscribe. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we will catch you again next time.